Thanks for joining me. This is Mr. Knowles, and this video focuses on fractions on a clock. Uh, the worksheet that goes with us with this video is called Clock Fractions. So I'm going to get started. Sometimes people talk about time in fractions of an hour. For example, a quarter of an hour is 15 minutes. Half an hour is 30 minutes. The pictures below show some different fractions of an hour on clocks. So the first one says half hour is 30 minutes, and it's shaded in to show you a visual that half an hour is um, 30 minutes on a clock. The clock in the middle is shaded in, one-fourth of it is shaded in, and that represents 15 minutes. And the one on the far right, it's one-third, and if you can't visualize that, if I were to draw this here, oops, a little off there, my mistake. If I were to draw it here, then you could see it was in thirds, and one third is shaded in. And one third of an hour is 20 minutes, because every one of these numbered notches is five minutes. So that would be 20 minutes, because there's four sections there. If I were to continue this, you could see four little skinny pie pieces. Each one's five minutes. So all together, it'd be 20 minutes. The first problem on the paper states, uh, problem two will be easier if you can divide 60 by some other numbers. Uh, they're saying that because there's 60 minutes in an hour. Solve the division problems below. So if I look at a clock, if I go to problem two, there's a clock here, and you have to understand with time, in one hour there's 60 minutes. So a little bit of division can help you solve some of these problems. So A, 60 divided by 2. So what they're asking is, what times 2 equals 60? Well, 2 30s equals 60, so I'm going to say that's 30. 60 divided by 2 is 30. 60 divided by 3. Something times 3. Something times 3 is equal to 60. It's 20. 20 times 3 is 60. And then let's look at C. 60 divided by 4. Something times 4 is 60. I'm going to go look at that clock picture again. <coughs> right here it says 1 fourth of an hour is 15 minutes. Remember, there's 60 minutes in an hour. So if this is 1 fourth, that means there's three other pieces together with that 1 fourth that equals 60. So now this clock, the 60 minutes, is divided into four sections. Each section's 15 minutes. So 60 divided by 4 is 15. Sixty divided by six. What times six is sixty? You're right, it's ten. So sixty divided by six is ten. Those might be helpful numbers for us later. <coughs> Two. Draw the following fractions on the clocks, then write how many minutes are in each fraction of an hour. Three fourths. The bottom number means that that's how many equal parts you have to divide the clock into. Four. Four equal parts. So what I can do is I can cut it in half. And if I cut it in half again, I get four equal parts. Those are fourths. The top number means you're going to shade in three of those fourths. So I'm going to shade in three fourths. That's what three-fourths looks like on a clock. How many minutes is that? Well, if each one is 15, this is 15, this is 15, and this is 15. If you don't remember, you can go back here. 
the letter C, it tells you that 60 divided by 4 is 15. I just have to add those up. So what's 15 plus 15 plus 15? You can probably do this in your head. It's 45. It's 45 minutes. Let's look at letter B. Two thirds. What the three means on the bottom in the denominator is that you have to break it up into three equal parts. You can do that like this. And then each part is worth so many minutes. If you go back, is there one? Yep. It's right here. Sixty divided by three is twenty. So if you take sixty, divide it into three equal parts, each one's worth twenty. Twenty minutes. So I go to B. Each one of those sections is worth twenty minutes. This is twenty minutes. Down here's twenty minutes. And over here's twenty minutes. The numerator, the top number, means you're going to shade in two of those three sections. So I'm going to shade this in here, and I'm going to shade this in here. I'm shading in two 20-minute sections. So how much time is that? How many minutes is that? It's 40 minutes. 40 minutes. All right. One sixth of an hour. I have to break up sixty minutes into six equal pieces. That one is letter D. Six sixty divided by six is ten. So sixty divided into six equal parts is ten. Ten minutes. So letter C. I'm gonna break it up into ten equal pieces. So it's basically all the even numbers, starting at the 12. Those are each 10 minutes, and I'm going to shade in one of them because the top number represents how many of those are shaded in. That's 1 6. That's 10 minutes. I don't really have to do any adding because it's just one of them, 10 minutes. All right. Fractions of an hour. Now I got this chart here. It gives me a fraction, and then it gives, I have to shade it, and I have to say how many minutes. So it's very similar to what we were doing. So one third. I have to break it up into three equal parts. I think we've done something like this before. Three equal parts. Looks like that. And then one of the three would be shaded. And... These are each 20 minutes. So this is 20 minutes. Let's go on to the next one. Number two, three fourths. I'm going to break it into three, or not three, I'm going to break this up into four equal parts. The easiest way to do it is to cut it in half and then cut it in half another way. And then I'm going to shade in three of the four. One, two, three. And I recall that each of these is 15 minutes. So it's three 15 minutes, which I believe we've done this before. That's 15, that's a 4, 45 minutes. Two thirds. The bottom number means three equal parts. I know a third is 20 minutes, so at the 4, and at the 8, and at the 12. The top number, the 2, 
means two of those three are shaded in. One, two, two of the three. Each one is 20 minutes. So two of those 20 minute sections is my answer. It's 40 minutes. Looks like I've done these before. <coughs> We've done one six before, so I'm not going to continue on. So I hope that this has been helpful to you. Uh, there are more worksheets available to you if you'd like them. Just uh, let me know, and I'll be happy to help you out. Thanks.